I was a gameplay programmer on Fable's Journey and worked for Lionhead at Microsoft. Uh, tell us about the development of Fable. Uh, well, Fable the Journey, we're in development for about 18 months, quite short for uh, a title of its size. We've done quite well. It's a very polished title, very good looking, probably one of the best looking Kinect games and Xbox games we've put out to date. Yeah, it's been pretty good. It's been quite smooth, surprisingly, compared to uh, previous Fable games. What about the interactivity with Kinect? What's the element of that? It's just a, a slightly more interactive game. It's because we obviously worked with Milo and Kate for quite a while. We wanted to embed some of our tech into an actual game we can put out on the market. Fable: The Journey was the result of that. Uh, you'll see it's a game that can be played sat down, which is quite new for the Kinect game. It's kind of based around your hands. You can lean. You use a little bit of your voice, but it's optional. You don't have to. So it's kind of a more interactive experience. It helps you feel like I don't really feel trying to get into the game a bit more rather than just pressing buttons for action. You actually have to do it, as it were. Actually, reach your hands out. It's just a little bit different, it's quite good. Do you need the controller can, or the connect? Do you need connect or can yeah, you? Yeah, it's a connect exclusive. It's a game that just can't be played with the controller, unfortunately. It's really built to be played with like two hands. How do you move around? Uh, it is on rails. Uh, it's probably for the best. It's a fairly linear shooter. Uh, there are some sections where you ride on the horse, so you're more free to go where you please. So it's all based on uh, when you're in combat, for example, you'll be taken around a certain path, there's not really much deviation. Whereas when you're on the horseback, you actually have to uh, sort of steer using the reins. It takes up where you want to go. You can stop to go on like optional paths. It takes you some like different things. It's a stop to stop with like treasure chests, some little secrets here and there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fairly simple. When Peter Mullen you left the team, did that affect the project? Not really. Peter left quite late, so uh, the game was already quite a long way in development. So it's still got quite a little bit of uh, I don't know Peter's thing in it. It's quite hard to say what Peter's thing is, but we all know it's this little creative spark. So it's still very much one of his babies, but he's now obviously moved on to do uh, slightly different, more adventurous things. But yeah, it's still very much a Fable game, it still feels a lot like Fable. I'd like to give a, say thank you for watching, and thanks for watching on Wicked Play. Yeah. Cheers mate, thanks for your time. Thank you. You're welcome.